nigga, fuck these hoes. I don't love these hoes. I don't want these hoes. I don't trust these hoes. Nigga, fuck these hoes. Nigga, fuck that bitch. Just make me rich. Get that bag. Get my shit. Nigga, fuck these hoes. I don't love these hoes. I don't want these. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Al Conseco, fearless leader of AL Nation. And this is. Offset. Are you fucking serious? Hey, my nigga, look here. Um. Let me talk to you, my nigga. I gotta talk to you, my nigga. Let, let, we got let's let's just talk right there. We're gonna talk, y'all. Uh, you gonna know this, you gonna know this dish in the background, whatever like that. Don't worry about it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. I don't like this. That's a gay color. Let's get into it. All right. Let me tell you how life works, my nigga. We're going to get straight to it. Let, let me tell you how life works. First off, if your bitch got with you because of your masculinity, big word. If your bitch is with you because of your masculinity, meaning that you have a lot of bravado, big ego, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that nigga. This nigga dive in the stage and hit a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just anything, anything. You know what I'm saying? A bitch can say anything. I, I like a man who can who can show his feelings and all this shit like that. That mean a nigga who can actually cry if his mom die. You know what I'm saying? Cry if his homeboy die, whatever like that. That type of shit. Not a nigga that's going to allow you to be malleable to their orders. I just gave y'all a video on Ice JJ Fish, which they motherfucking age restricted for whatever fucking reason. But this is the way that Cardi B now sees Offset. Offset, let me talk to you, my nigga. How are you now going to get into an argument with Cardi B? This bitch was just on stage twerking as hard as she possibly could. I think I need to play that video. I think I need to play that. I ain't going to play it. Go watch the video of this bitch on stage in fucking Puerto Rico. This bitch was twerking as hard as she fucking could. I'm trying, to, I'm trying like a fucking dance girl. Just, I'm trying to just really... It wasn't nothing going on. It, it looked retarded. You know what I'm saying? She had a tutu on. It looked retarded. But she was doing that shit to show, nigga, I wish you would say anything about anything, nigga. We know how you get when I get like this, nigga. I run this shit, nigga. Anything, nigga. I do you like I did you last time. How are you going to get an argument? You can't do this, my nigga. This is the equivalent of a, being a real street nigga and being down on your luck and having to be with a bitch because she has a house and a car. And a job. You know what I'm saying? So she know that you're dependent upon her uh, Whataburger checks and her uh, Chevy Malibu 2000. And the, the bullshit apartment she got. That's all you have. How in the fuck are you going to argue with her about anything? If this bitch want to text niggas at 2 o'clock in the morning and laugh. I'm sorry, y'all in the bed because, you know, y'all y'all into it because you didn't want to fuck and shit like that. So now she got down. She pulled all the cover on her side. Now she over here like. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> this motherfucker's stupid. <laughs> And you can't say shit. Oh. I almost didn't see you standing there. Come on in. It's cold out. Hey, have you heard? For the whole month of December, AO Nation is having a blowout sale. Get any hat and shirt combination for $30. That means snapback, scullies, big facts. Are you serious? My favorite, $30. Also, for the whole month of December, when you go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10, you'll get an email back 
letting you know that Christmas doesn't exist. <laughs> Be sure when you hit the PayPal to donate, you go to paypal.me forward slash Aaron337 if you want your donation read on the show. Remember, the AO Nation donation conversation is every other Sunday. Don't be late. I'm serious. Also, don't forget. Get your shit together, big homes. All right. Get the fuck out. You can't say shit. If you get up and go in the other room, this bitch gonna follow you in there, bitch. Like, so what the fuck is your problem? Because if you just gonna, I, I ain't gonna be no prisoner in my own house. If the fuck you don't wanna be here, you can just fucking leave. And then march back in the room. Knowing that you're not gonna do shit. Because she know that you're dependent upon her. The first time a bitch tells you to get the fuck away from her, you do that. And let her call your phone, begging you, begging you, begging you. And then it's on you if you want to go back. And when you go back, you better have a fucking attitude. And let this hoe know that, bitch, the only reason I came back is because I felt sorry for you, bitch. It can't be the other way around. Nigga, the only reason we... No, nah, nigga, I, I felt sorry for you, nigga. I felt sorry for you, nigga. Take them off, nigga. You ain't going on tour, nigga. We need to spend some quality family time, nigga. You ain't going on tour no more, nigga. Ain't no studio tonight, nigga. Build a studio in the house, nigga, so I can see what the fuck you doing. My nigga, do you know what's going on? You going on stage, bending on a knee, and this hoe actually take you to fuck? Do you know what the house gonna be like, nigga? Understand this, dog. I did, and this is why I preach the three S's. A lot of new people here, so let, let's get this understood. The three S's are sobriety. First off, that's most important. Sobriety, solitude, which is isolation. Celibacy. Celibacy. I just used the word masculine and malleable in the beginning of the show. Do you think that I don't know that celibacy starts with a C? For all, all the smart niggas, all the smart niggas, smart bitches in the comment section. Do you think that I don't know that the word celibacy starts with a C? Okay. So it's obviously a play on letters, words, something funny, you know what I'm saying, like a jingle. You need cash now? You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. The three S's sounds better than two S's and a C. Doesn't have the same ring, does it? Two S's and a C, the three S's, kind of works better, don't it? So please, for everybody, all the smart niggas who can't think they weigh out their own problems in their own life, and bitches, same thing. Please understand, I know that celibacy starts with a C. I did that on purpose. You just don't know how fucking mad that shit make me, dog. Celibacy starts with a C. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this fucking idiot? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this guy? So, the reason why I preach the three S's is because a house... A house is not supposed to be ran by the emotional creature. The house is supposed to be ran by the person that thinks with their mind, the logical one, the reasonable one. You can't go outside and shoot somebody just because they're making noise upstairs or downstairs if you stay in an apartment. You need a logical thinker to get you out of situations. If... <laughs> The apartments where everybody go trap at and you know what I'm saying? The apartments that you go when they met that ghetto bitch at. Everybody has an apartment. It's, it's not the it's not the projects, it's a step above the projects. You know what I'm saying? But it's still section eight. It's still fucking um if it's what is it? Low income, what's that shit called? Based on income. If it's a based on income apartment complex, that is what you call the apartments. Every city, every state has the motherfuckers. When you stay in there, the reason why the motherfuckers is ran down the way they are, the reason why the motherfuckers look the way they do, and the reason why so much crime takes place there is because that area is ran by who? What man, how many men, give me a, 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 a woman to man ratio in those apartments. 
Is a man even allowed to be there? Of course not. That's ran totally by women, and that's the reason why everything goes down like that. Because there is no order. Now, on the flip side, damn. On the flip side, go to a place where men run it. Men are the, the source of income. You know what I'm saying? What is that called? That's called a subdivision. Men go to work. The women are housewives. That's the ideal. That's white picket fence. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to go. And it's a reason for it. It's a re I, I, You know what? To an extent, dog, I somewhat agree in the whole housewife shit. Like, the woman shouldn't work. I somewhat agree with that shit, dog. I somewhat agree with it, dog. When you have your shit together, when you have your shit together, dog, you set the bills. So, it ain't gonna be no, uh, we got this bill, all that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, health care and all this bullshit like this, dog. You got a cable bill, water bill, light bill, rent, maybe, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're not buying a home, or however the fuck that works, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, maybe a car note, but being that you're logical, you might just buy the cars outright. When you run the household, you, you really won't, because in real life, my nigga, you gonna run the shit anyway. When you on top of your shit, my nigga, it's gonna be your house anyway. You're not gonna go stay with no hoe. So a hoe standing in your house and cleaning that shit up and taking care of the child if you have one is perfect. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're not gonna let this hoe, you know what I'm saying, eat you out of the house and hoe. Hold on, bitch. You eating too much, hoe. I had a whole motherfucking thing of goddamn noodles in this motherfucker, nigga. You know what I'm saying? A whole six of them bitches gone, nigga. We eat maybe. You know what I'm saying? Three of them bitches a day. The fuck is you doing in this motherfucker? You would have that shit under control. And if the hoe don't like that shit, say, bitch. Because it's your household. You should never be under, understand. I'm telling you, my nigga. It's a lot of my niggas out here right now that's under the rule, under the iron thumb of a nothing ass bitch. I gotta move that fucking camera. Under the rule... The iron thumb of a nothing ass hoe. And you wonder why everything always, well, I can't, one of the reasons why y'all always late on the bills and shit like that and shit keep getting cut off is because you got a drug habit. And she has supplied a drug habit. And that's another reason why she lost respect for you. You know what I'm saying? She feels like you're living off her, <laughs> you supposed to be somewhat trapping, and she still got to give you money out of her check. Every time she get paid, she doesn't have it. You can't do shit. You're taking her downhill. So she feels like at the very least, what you can do is be, be her at home human deal though. And when you can't do that, it's like, what the fuck is you here for? And that's why you get disrespected like that. But once you start showing respect for yourself, motherfuckers can't do you like that. And the ultimate respect for yourself is having your own shit, not being dependent on no one, especially not no hope. Because she's never had power. Therefore, she's going to misuse it. You just gave a child a loaded gun. You can't be mad at that fucking child. So that's that whole uh, that dynamic. It should never be like that. And what you just did, Offset, was gave... It doesn't matter if you want... Because what, what they seen them at is uh, somewhere on jet skis together having fun. Hell yeah, it's fun. The bitch got what she wanted. And you know you got to smile. And you and you happy too. I ain't on child support. She ain't take everything from me. I still got mine. But what you about to lose is going to be far worse. Now we finna start dealing with, you know what I'm saying, domestic violence. Upgraded drug use. Because you're, you're, you're about to start feeling like less of a fucking man. Watch what I tell you. Listen right here. I told y'all about Takashi. I told y'all about NBA Youngboy. I'm telling y'all right now. This shit right here, this, this offset, watch the Migos. Well, they not even really a group no more. Quavo doing his thing, take off, is doing whatever the fuck he do. And, but watch offset go downhill. Watch what I tell you. 
Watch what I tell you. If it's not publicized in, in, um, in the media and shit like that, just do a little digging behind the scenes and you're going to see a real big change in Offset. He about to go downhill because his manhood is about to be tested. He's shown that he's not in control. And as a man, you can it's, it's fucked up, but we are primal. Primal in our instinct. As the lion, the only job that we have is to be that leader of the pride. The leader of the pride. We make the decisions. The bitches go out and give us food and all we have one job and that's to be the motherfucking alpha male. You never see no lion go to a goddamn lioness for motherfucking approval or apology. I don't apologize, bitch. I got six other fucking lionesses to fuck over here. This motherfucking monogamy and having one bitch is not fucking human. It's not motherfucking in our nature to have one bitch. And what the fuck she did? She didn't chop your nuts off. You let this hoe chop your nuts off. And it's fucked up. And I understand. I understand why you had to make that move because you, you know it's going to get bad. You separating from her, you knew that it was going to get bad. A divorce, child support is going to get bad. You're not going to be able to spend like you want to, but if it's like it's cheaper to keep her as long as you stay with her. You know what I'm saying? You can still spend your money here and the money kind of stay in house. But you just gave this bitch the power. So now you're not going to spend what you want to spend. You're going to spend what she wants you to spend. If she say she want to do a fucking duet with you, you're going to do that shit. Her team now runs QC. Did you not? I want everybody to know this. With this situation right here, they can call it family. I always come and help family, all that shit like this. Cardi B made a decision and the whole world started moving. Uh, uh, Katrina Gibbs, go check out her podcast, uh, Conversation With Me. Go check that shit out right now. But she uh, sent me a picture of fucking uh, uh, P, which is uh, Offset Manager and shit like that, sent Carter B a whole motherfucking uh, $80,000, $100,000 watch. Game on the phone with her like, please, man, take him back. Because he's trying to get a favor from QC. T.I. trying to get a favor from QC. Everybody putting in call, man, hey, man, hey, uh, make sure you get back with him and make sure you told him that I told you to do it now. Need mine. Motherfuckers want their favor back. The whole world moved because this nothing-ass bitch made a decision. It should never be like that. You gave a fucking child a loaded gun. Your relationship can never go back to what it was. After the bitch decides she's done, it's over. It's over. Because the bitch that you once knew is no longer there. You killed her. It's, it's fucked up. If she ever did love you, it's over with. Once a bitch gets to the point where she can actually physically leave you, my nigga, it's over with. The bitch done been cheated on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty fucking times, a million fucking times. That a million and one time, she when it when it stopped hurting her and she make a sound decision to leave, the relationship is over because the dynamic has changed. The only reason why the relationship worked is because the dynamic was I'm on top, you on bottom. You take any fucking punishment I give you because I'm that nigga. Once she decides, oh no, I'm good on this shit. Now the dynamic is you chasing behind her. And she never had this before, so now she's going to do all the wrong shit. Now you're going to get the punishment. And you're not going to take it the right way because you've never been in this position either. So now you start doing retarded ass shit. Like, I'm, I'm the fucking man. I'm the fucking man around this bitch. Ho, you need a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't feel like that nigga no more. The shit is over. You made a mistake. The mistake was getting this bitch pregnant. And it's fucked up. We fuck up. But it's already done. You trying to get away from that child support club, my nigga, it's already over with. It's over with. It's done. It's done. Once a bitch can publicly leave you, a bitch fronted you out on stage, your nuts gone, my nigga. Your nuts gone. It's over with. 
in your relationship, I'm going to tell y'all, if you in a situation right now where your bitch is working, she got to give you money, you got to drive her car, you stand in her house, ain't no such thing as you fell on hard time. Break up with that bitch and go be homeless. Listen to me. Break up with that bitch, go be homeless. You need to feel that pain so you can understand the situation that you're actually in. She's become a cushion of sorts to where you don't feel the true pain that you need to feel. She is the pain reliever. She is that opiate to where you don't know that you're bleeding out because you, you're just so high. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how much, like, you really fucked up, my nigga. And I'm sure you noticed it. If you came into the relationship and you actually had something and she was, you know what I'm saying, the one that was down, I'm sure you know this. You know what I'm saying? The dynamic has changed and maybe her attitude has got a little bit more cocky. But you can't say shit. Whenever you can't say what it is you want to say in any relationship, I don't give a fuck what the relationship is. Husband, uh, husband, wife, uh, father, daughter, uh, uh, a niece, nephew, I don't, give, I don't give a fuck what the fuck it is. Whenever you can't speak what the fuck you want to speak on, it's time to part ways. However it has to happen, it's time to part ways. When I can't speak what I want to speak because I'm scared of the consequences, it's time to part ways. Especially if what I'm trying to say is some real shit, it's time to part ways. Because the only thing that can come from that is suppressed fucking rage. What was a little frustration now turns into pure fucking rage to where now when the argument does actually happen, it might go way too fucking far. So the best thing for you to do is get the fuck away from there and restart your shit. Big Facts Podcast, I'm El Conseco. Y'all make sure y'all get y'all shit together out there, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Make sure you hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.